one semester. Um, I would say that my Mandarin is good enough where I can go out and understand a good majority of what people are saying, but also um, I can utilize it in interactions with people who speak Chinese. Okay, this frisbee was given by my previous student. Uh, I love teaching and I feel uh, this is uh, the most uh, beautiful part of my life. The Chengdu American Center is unique because it allows students to continue with their studies and their major while on a study abroad program. This semester I entered at Zhongbei Elementary School where I taught um, six and seven year olds English. They were adorable. The internship experience here with the Chengdu American Center is quite special actually. Um, not only do the students get the experience on the ground, uh, whether it's at uh, places such as Lafarge, the cement company, uh, De Hung Law Firm, uh, to name a few, but we also have supervisors that will guide them throughout the whole semester. I interned at Ching Su Vocational High School and I taught three English classes and I can honestly say I learned just as much from them as they learned from me. So it was a great experience as well, my first time teaching. I got to intern at the Ritz Carlton Hotel in downtown Chengdu. At the Da Hung Law Office here in the high tech zone which is pretty cool because they're a huge multinational firm, a very prominent center of wealth and power. And, you know, I get to go there and hang out with all the suits. And My internship was very fun. I helped the Chinese out with their English. I was lucky enough to have two internships here, but one of the internships that I had was um, at Sichuan Equity Law Firm, which is one of the best law firms in China. The Chengdu American Center for Study Abroad wants our students to really integrate themselves into the Chinese life. We had a home game at here in Chengdu. I played in Chongqing, Xiamen, and Guangzhou. They were from all over the place. Australia, New Zealand, America, Ireland, France, Germany, almost every country you could think of. Yeah, I play the winger position, and sometimes I play the 10, so often when I get the ball, I have a good opportunity to score. Yeah. Uh, the nightlife scene is uh, truly an unbelievable. Um, I haven't experienced anything quite like it. Well, every semester we have a cultural excursion where we take the students to a particular part of China. Uh, last semester, we were able to go see Lushan, the giant Buddha, and this semester we decided to bring the students to Xi'an to see the terracotta warriors, to see the city wall, and see the giant wild goose pagoda. Uh, we feel that this kind of trip uh, kind of accentuates their time in China, not only to see Chengdu, but also to bring them to other places that uh, will really enhance their experience. I was actually able to leave Chengdu quite a bit, when I was here in China, I've been to Omeishan, which is uh, one of the larger mountains here in Sichuan province. It's a mountain very sacred to the Buddhist religion. Here we are, the giant golden Buddha. The dorms were actually a lot better than I thought they were going to be. The services and everything were very nice. The only issue I had with the dorms was the Wi-Fi, but you can purchase Wi-Fi here. I always wanted to study abroad. China offered more classes, they had more than just electives, and it seemed like they had a better program overall with taking us on trips and letting us go on excursions and see new things. Really worthwhile to come over here to reevaluate everything and then be able to look back at your own culture in a completely newly informed light. The Chengdu Study Abroad Center is ideally located in Chengdu, Western China, Sichuan Province. And this is a wonderful place to experience cosmopolitan China, a new city. It's grown up to about almost 15 million people. All of it is so good. Very spicy, but there are things that you can find that aren't spicy. Um, however, I'm, I'm a huge fan of hot pot, huo huo. Chengdu also reflects old China, with ancient Buddhist temples and traditional neighborhoods. Of course, Chengdu is home to the world-famous Panda Center. Uh, Kung Fu Panda, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Panda is very cute and uh, very kindness Excellent. and uh, very persistent, so that's why I like it.